Hey everybody, we're here with the uh, update number two on our Indiegogo project. I feel like so much has happened since uh, the last time we posted an update, so we wanted to uh, keep you informed on what's happening with the project. One of the first things is that we have decided to change the name from Cantus Cursor, the singing runner, to Bruised Toes. Yeah, Candace Cursor was always a working title and this one had been uh, in the background a little bit and we decided that it just is more fitting uh, for the project. So we have um, all of our t-shirts and everything will be delivered with the new title and uh, we're going to be changing, uh, yeah, the info all over our Indiegogo as well. So that's big, exciting news. Uh, since we let this, uh, last posted an update, uh, we took off, we kind of changed the focus from playing music a little bit more to um, just the big 100 mile run. Um, we were chasing the heat all the way down the East Coast, trying to get acclimated to the heat. And everywhere we went about two days before we got there, it was super hot and nice and chilly when we got there. Uh, so it was a bit nerve wracking uh, before the big run. Yeah, so we finally got down to the Keys a little bit earlier than expected, but was really, really appreciated because it gave us time to not only acclimate to the heat, but see some friends while we were down there and also film a bunch while we were there, getting ready, um, filming some of the prep, filming um, basically our whole experience as much as we could. It was really, really wonderful. Um, so then that brought us up to lots of good prep for race day. It took us days because we were so nervous. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the race uh, was a successful one, as Ooh. is the custom with 100 mile races. I got this sweet belt buckle. Uh, I finished and this I ran the iconic Keys 100. Uh, the race was incredibly hard, probably the hardest thing I'd ever done and uh, couldn't have been done without the amazing support crew that we had. Uh, we had an amazing, amazing crew. We had uh, two cars, one for CJ, one for Carl, and it was Beth, Carl, and um, CJ's mom, uh, Peak, and myself, and we ran that crew along with other people who stopped um, along the race. Uh, just to show some support, drop off some coffee, walk for a little bit, take some pictures, and overall support us in morale. It was incredible. A little bit of info about uh, the finish. Um, I finished in 30 hours and 20 minutes. There was a 32 hour cutoff, so I was kind of close to that. The goal was 24, so it was a little bit longer than the goal, but uh, the main thing was just to finish. Uh, this year at the Keys 100, uh, there were 94 finishers and 87 DNFs, 87 people that uh, started and did not finish, um, which was the highest rate of DNFs that they've ever had. Uh, so it kind of gives you an idea of how um, hot and how difficult that uh, this race was. It started, uh, we started at 6.50 a.m. Uh, me and my brother started together, CJ, and um, feeling good for the first 30 miles. And then um, cramping and fatigue started setting in. And after the Channel 5 bridge in Isla Mirada, um, I experienced uh, one of the worst cramping episodes that I've ever experienced and uh, was looking pretty pretty sad. I couldn't really walk for a brief period of time, um, but got it, focused on my breath and got through it and then was able to walk uh, at a decent pace and then eventually was able to run again. And then uh, we really started ticking off the miles um, after that. Yeah, during that time, I got to join them for a few miles right off the bat, right at 10 miles, you can pick up a pacer and I really wanted to get some footage of them uh, early on and they were doing great. They're singing along as they're running. It's just incredible, you know, miles 11, 12, 13, doing really nicely. And then um, we left them for a little while and show up to a super cramping Carl. He was kind of falling over at that point. Um, it was pretty nerve wracking. And um, at one point I tried to kind of massage out his calf and it was just completely hard as rock. It was, um, and that was 30 miles in. And so it was a big mental push for us to get him motivated as a crew and also to get him feeling well enough to actually put one foot in front of the other. Um, so it was an up and down throughout the whole thing. 
I got to kind of join him for miles here and there throughout the whole run and it was an incredible experience and sometimes really um, just down and sad and hard, really, really hard. Um, but overall, I just enjoyed every bit of it as a crew member and as I was filming and pacing. Um, At mile 50, um, that's where the seven mile bridge is. Our, my sister-in-law Beth jumped in and started pacing at that point. Um, we had the blues a hockey game on the radio on a little JBL speaker and we started taking off miles and that was really amazing. Uh, we were able to run kind of through the night and then the sun started coming up again and then the realization that you're gonna have to deal with the heat which is the hardest thing in this race um, for a second time um, that which was pretty daunting. Um, around mile 83 um, CJ had to drop out his he was having such bad blistering on his feet that he couldn't go anymore um, So he dropped out but everybody just stepped in and pay, helped pace through the end of the race and uh, we finished um, like I said 30 hours and 20 minutes and um, a Lot of bruised toes <laughs> But we got it and I got my first hundred and my first I think my first belt buckle so so we just have to get him a belt. Yeah, now um, that's the next belt. purchase. And a pair of pants. <laughs> uh, once we got back to New York, we decided to take a couple weeks off just to really rest, reflect, uh, take a break from filming, and get back into short little runs. We're also starting to focus on um, a half marathon that we've been hosting the past few years. It is our biggest year yet. Um, we're going to have about 90 runners and cyclists and et cetera. Doing it's called this. the Bridge in a Slice Half Marathon. Yes. Sixth annual, officially unofficial. Yeah, so we are really looking forward to that coming in a couple of weeks. And um, in the meantime, we'll, we will be shipping out these awesome t-shirts and sweatshirts if you got some of these and organizing some of the other perks with um, people. Uh, ultimately, we just thank you so much for all of your support. You helped make this happen and we couldn't have done it without you. It really does mean a lot to have all of your support along this journey. It has just been uh, the time of my life personally to not only get to see Carl finish a goal that he's been working on for a long time, but to be a part of it and to just be adventuring. Um, so this has really been very meaningful. So thank you. So much gratitude and uh, hopefully we can help inspire some of you guys to get out there and do it too. Love you so much. I uh, will post another update as we start to piece together our footage and find the direction of the dock and everything that's going on. We really appreciate it and uh, be in touch. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here. Peace, love. Bruce toes. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>